Marco Reus could have been one of the best players in the history of German football. His ascent to the top of the world game was just as blistering as his succession of curtailing injuries. Adored by an entire nation, Ruiz had all the necessary tools to become a great of the game, a World Cup winner, and even a Ballon d'Or contender. But destiny decided otherwise, and that's the fracture. Not many players are loved unanimously, but Marco Ruiz is one of them. What's not to like? He marries creativity and efficiency with an insatiable thirst for football. Plus, he's a true gentleman of the game. Born in Dortmund 33 years ago, Marco was destined to play the beautiful game from the very start. Named after his father's favorite player, Dutch striker Marco van Basten, Ruiz had no other choice. After 10 years in the Dortmund academy, he joined neighboring Seidrat Weiss before later signing for Borussia Mönchengladbach. And in 2009, he'd experienced his first taste of the Bundesliga. He made a scintillating start to life in the top tier of German football, scoring eight goals during his debut campaign. In his second, he scored 10 and provided a further nine assists. He'd inscribe himself in Gladbach folklore by scoring the goal that secured their Bundesliga status. Ruiz became somewhat of a specialist in scoring crucial goals. Despite possessing a rather slender frame, Ruiz combined speed, striking power, and in paralleled vision. These traits helped him earn a first call-up for Dime and Shaft against Turkey back in 2011. It seemed Marco was on the fast track to stardom. In his final season with Gladbach, he scored 21 goals and provided 14 assists, a stunning output that saw him named German Footballer of the Year. Understandably, Europe's giants came calling, eventually joining boyhood side Borussia Dortmund for 17 million new roles, a measly sum considering the market today. Now, a 23-year-old of his ability could easily fetch upwards of 100 million. Back then, Dortmund were in a constant tussle for titles with Bavarian giants Bayern Munich, and it was hoped that Ruiz would spearhead their ascension. In his first Champions League campaign, Ruiz would help Jurgen Klopp's men to the final. They'd encounter familiar foes the final in the shape of Bayern, eventually succumbing to a 21-loss following Arjen Robben's late winner. He'd adapted to life at the Signal Iduna Park with ease and his performances captured the attention of all Europe. Following an encounter with Juventus, Czech legend Pavel Nedved was effusive in his praise for the winger. Marco Ruiz is a phenomenon. He'll certainly move to a bigger club. Nedved was correct. Ruiz was being courted by Europe's biggest names. Rumors linked Trey Al Madrid with the move. While Barca and Bayern had also registered their interest, it seemed the sky was the limit for Marco. His form had catapulted him to undisputed starter status ahead of the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. But sometimes, life doesn't go quite as planned. Despite suffering from a succession of injuries during his early career, Ruiz has never missed more than 10 days of action. However, during Germany's last friendly before the World Cup against Armenia, the winger suffered a serious injury following a rugged challenge. This was Ruiz's worst nightmare. He was subsequently forced to withdraw from the Germany squad with an ankle injury, one which would sideline him for approximately two months. He would be watching on from home as his teammates secured World Cup glory, a bittersweet sentiment for the Dortmund man. As the new season commenced, Ruiz would return to the fold, and despite failing to usurp Bayern at the top of the Bundesliga, he continued to impress on an individual level. He may have missed out on the 2014 World Cup, but he was intent on featuring at Euro 2016. But his injury woes would continue, and this time it struck hard. After Dortmund's defeat in the final of the German Cup to perennial rivals Bayern, Ruiz felt a twinge in his groin. What at first seemed innocuous turned into something much more serious, and inflammation soon sidelined him for 176 days. Ruiz wouldn't return to the pitch for six months. His only saving grace would be that fans voted for him to feature on the cover of FIFA 17. But as he proved time and time again, he quickly returned to the top. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, he continued to dazzle in the Bundesliga. He helped lead Dortmund to DFB Pokal glory in 2017 against Frankfurt. But disaster would strike during the game, he ruptured his knee ligaments. He left the pitch at halftime, and it was clear for all to see that the damage was serious. And from that moment on, it's never really been the same for Marco. It's the injury of nightmares for any professional footballer. Apart from Mar 9, 
who managed to return to the very top of the world game, not many have returned to their blistering best. He didn't know it at the time, but Ruiz has failed to replicate his heady heights ever since. This time, it took him eight months to return to the field. But Ruiz could count on the unwavering support of all those associated with Bo Russia Dortmund. Marco's popularity stems from his unfaltering commitment and loyalty to the yellow wall. Like Steven Gerrard and Francesco Totti before him, Ruiz has battled disappointing results and rejected lucrative offers to stay faithful to his boyhood side. Upon his return, he forced his way back into the Germany squad ahead of the 2018 World Cup. But unfortunately for Ruiz, his return would coincide with the chaotic campaign that culminated in a group stage exit but he'd put his international struggles behind him to play a starring role for Dortmund during the 2018-19 campaign. Bestowed with the responsibility of captaining the side, he led the team to second in the table, being pipped on the last day by Bayern Munich. At the end of the season, he was voted Bundesliga Player of the Year once more. If he was capable of winning the Player of the Year award after being beset by a succession of injuries, imagine how good he could have been if he'd stayed issue free. When he initially burst onto the scene, Ria's game was based on speed and explosivity, but these attributes were slowly eroded away by his injury concerns. As the years went by, Ruiz remained a key component of the side, but his body prevented him from fulfilling his true potential. At 33 years old, Ruiz has already seen it all, and he now compensates for his physical weaknesses with an unrivaled vision for the game. During an encounter with Eintracht Frankfurt in 2021, he proposed a tactical switch to manager Marco Rose. Marco Ruiz came to see me during the game and said, Coach, let's move to 4-3-1 because they're playing 4-1-4-1. So I said, OK, if that's how the captain feels, let's do that. And that's exactly what I like, an assumption of responsibility. The man who was expected to lead Die Manshaft has collected only 48 caps over the course of his career. He's seen players much less talented much less hard-working pass in front just by virtue of luck. That said, his legacy at Borussia Dortmund remains eternal. Reports have indicated that he's likely to sign a new deal at the club, one which will see him take a 50% pay cut. They don't make players like him anymore. So we're left to ask ourselves one thing. What would his career have looked like should he have been spared of injury? If his prime wasn't cut short so prematurely, a career plagued by questions of what if. Marco's body is covered in tattoos, and one reads a quote from Oprah Winfrey. The biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams, and although his injuries may have turned his life into a nightmare at times, the German star has never given up and has forged a steadily successful career for himself. So that's all for our profile on Marco Ruiz, the subject of the first episode of our new feature The Fracture. Which other players could have had a better career had they stayed injury-free? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and perhaps we'll use them as inspiration for any upcoming episodes. See you soon, oh my goalers.